Jello. Y'all hear me? Still no audio. Okay, bet. My bad, y'all. Good thing I wasn't speeding up the video, though. So if you can't hear me, you can see it in, in real time so you can see the steps. Let me see. Now, what we about to do, let's go ahead and make us some eyebrows. I messed up big time. It's challenging drawing with the mouse, but it's possible, man. It is very possible. It's just more time consuming. Let me see. Okay, but now what we about to do? I'm gonna come over here. Go ahead and highlight go to object expand hit merge on our pathfinder what, what do I think you need to start watching you need to start watching my videos man trust me I will show you the way my brother see look now go to your layers and drag the line work we just made to this blank sheet of paper to make a copy lock the top copy and let's find a nice little a nice little skin tone form but you know what I'm gonna just import my skin tone palette let's go to let me import it real quick. I got so much junk on my computer. But I know where everything is. She world skin tones. Alright. So let's grab the colors. Drag it over here. Let's go right click the color, go to arrange and send to back. After you send the color behind the line work, you want to highlight everything and then you want to click merge. Then after you hit merge, the color will come one, become one with the line work. Then you want to right click the color, go to isolate selected group and we can delete that outer color and every color that's closed off is gonna make it its own group so let's go to this make this hat okay. now what we about to do let's uh make a copy of this color layer 
gonna lock the bottom, turn the eye off on the bottom color, and we're only gonna delete the skin tone out of the color layer that's in the center. So, bam. And we're gonna create a new layer. We're gonna put it under that one and turn the bottom layer back on. And this is gonna be our shadow layer. Okay. Go back to my pencil tool. And now we're gonna draw in some shadows. It's gonna be hard with this mouse. So, but it's possible. Gotta take your time. Take a lot of concentration with your mouse, man. But it's possible. It's just a little time consuming, but if you can't afford an art tablet, man, you can you can you can master your mouse, trust me. Bro, you drawing with your mouse? Yup. Full tutorial for you guys. You ain't gonna hear me talking at the beginning. I ain't know I had my mic muted, so I'll drop another mouse tutorial tomorrow too, live. I'm gonna start dropping most of my tutorials live. I think that'll be better. So Y'all get to see it in real time. You can tell I'm drawing with this mouse. Look how look how jittery. <laughs> but just like I said, like when y'all couldn't hear me, look. If you need some help drawing smoother lines with your mouse, see I'm on this pencil tool. Double click it and move your smoothness all the way up to the very top. So. The program will try to correct your lines for you as, as best as it can. Let's see. I'm trying my best to come. And it's going to clean it up for me. You seen it? Okay, under this lip. Another little shadow. And also, we can put some, make a shadow come right on the side of his face. Right, I need to do a little better than that. I notice when I try to go a little faster, I do a little better. All right, cool. All right. Now what we gonna do? We gonna make like a a curve. We gonna try to bring it. Let's close it out because I'm messing up. Okay, bet. Then we're going to 
start vent. You know what I'm saying? Okay, okay. Let's go back to our layer tool. I mean, our layers. Let's create a layer right on underneath the very top line work. I'm gonna put some shadows inside his eyes. What's so crazy, I wasn't trying to make them look like anybody. I was just drawing for the tutorial sake, but it always wound up looking like somebody, so I just stay going with it. <laughs> for real. I just started. Love you too, bro. And shout out to Pakistan. Much love, man. Much love to Pakistan. Okay, I'm trying my best. I'm trying my best to follow. Okay. Look at that. I'm trying to tell y'all, man, no excuses. I know a lot of people be inboxing me, man. I ain't got, I ain't got an art tablet. You can still make it happen, man. It ain't gonna be easy, but it's possible. And I'm pretty sure if you really, if you really put the time into it, like you can do something super amazing with your mouse. It's just a little more time consuming, but it's possible, man. There we go. Let's let it color right here. Go back to my pencil tool. And clean this up. You just gotta practice, man. For real. Just gotta practice. The more you do it, the easier it'll, it'll become. Cause I didn't start out good at doing shadows and, and stuff like that, but just kept on doing it. Then I got, I got better over time. Another thing you can use too, if you good with the pen tool, I'm just not a pen tool person, but I see a lot of people using it. It's just not my thing. So, pen tool like me. So I probably, I'm probably doing it the harder way. What is it? It's the way I know how to do it with the pencil. Another thing too, you you make yourself relax. Why you why you moving your mouse? You have a better chance of making some clean lines. I know that sound crazy, but I'm telling you. You gotta calm yourself and just go through. Now look, I got buddy looking like he got some lip gloss on. Let me go ahead and tone it down a little bit. Mm. Got to pass it down. All right. All right, now we're going to 
gonna do like a little a little highlight on his skin go back to my layers we're gonna put this under that second line word layer and we just gonna put some some highlights on his face I think I can go to my brush tool for this brush to smoothness all the way up it be so hard trying to make these lines smooth you know what now nah, we just gonna go back to the uh pencil tool let's see dang move this color to the top I hope I can be great like you. I appreciate you, bro. Uh, you can be better, man. Be honest with you. Just gotta put it, put the time in. That's all it is. You can always be better. And it just it boils down to how bad you want something too. It's like it's somebody that's gonna be better than Michael Jordan if they put it put it on their mind that they they want it better or better they can be better than LeBron. And when I say better, I mean as far as in sports, you can get more achievements and stuff like that. You just gotta how bad you want it. And then if you want it bad enough, you'll just work for it, man. My goal is to inspire the next best thing, you know? That's what I try to teach. Try to teach and show what I know how to do. Because I know when I stop doing what I'm doing, it's going to be somebody that outdo what I was doing, you know? It's like passing a torch. I think that's that's everybody's purpose in life. Be the best you can be so you can inspire somebody else to be better than who they are. You feel me? I'm gonna put some shadow. I mean these little highlights. I think I'm gonna go live again too, like real quick. But I'm gonna draw with the gotta draw with the pen at this time. I just know I get a lot of people asking for this mouse tutorial. And there you. Wait, should I got that? I'm going add a couple of more little, little highlights. Hmm? Okay. Look, I'm going fast now. Nah. Ooh. Okay. I told you you gotta make yourself relax and then them lines will come out cleaner. Or whatever work for you. If taking your time, give you some nice crispy lines, take your time, man. He got some goddamn baby oil on his face. Alright. Bring this line. Alright. I knew I was gonna miss this line. Okay, cool. I can just erase this. Okay, cool. There we go. You are my idol. I love illustrating. Thank you, 
Appreciate you. Appreciate y'all, man. Now I have the open illustrator too. That's what's up, bro. Get to it, man. Appreciate you. Let me see. Now what we gonna do to finish this off? Hey, do y'all like the tutorials live? Or should I should I still make the tutorials like regular? Like edit them first and then put them on here? Or do y'all like when I do the tutorials live? Just let me know, man. Put this at the very, the very top like this. Live is better, I bet. I start doing these tutorials live. Oh yeah, I'm gonna save the stream. I'm gonna start saving the stream. I didn't know my mic was off at the beginning though. But don't worry, I drop another mouse tutorial tomorrow. Cause I ain't even know I had my mic muted when I started. Like around the same time too, I'll drop another one. And there you have it, man. How to draw with your mouse. Yeah, feed you. Alright. Another thing. I'm finna I'm finna make this hat like with a gradient. So let's select this hat. And let's go. Let's go to the gradients. Mm. Can even okay, but put the dark side on this side. Okay, cool. Make this blue a little darker. Put a little purple in there. Right, let's make that blue dark. Make this blue darker. Right. And bam, there you have it. Nice little swoosh on the head. There you go, you guys. This is how you draw using your mouse. And it just takes some time, man. But I'm telling you, if you using your mouse, you probably ain't going to like uh digital art for real but when you finally get you a digital art tablet it's gonna be like a million times fun man funner than it is trying to draw with your mouse but it's possible to draw with your mouse i just wanted to show that you know um yeah i think i'm about to turn right back around go live i'm finna say this video so somebody can watch it I'm going to go live again real quick. So if y'all ain't doing that, man, make sure y'all just stay tuned. I'm going to jump right back on this thing, man. And I'm out.